Hello traders, FX Pip Collector here. Today is Friday, May 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link for more information about that can be found up here in the corner. So on the pound dollar, I still believe that this is going to grow into an uptrend and that it's eventually going to take out these highs, probably make a nice one, two, three, four, five up. Of a or possibly a nice one two three four five of one either scenario it definitely doesn't matter to me whether it's a one or whether it's a wave a because either way i am for sure going to be looking for longs on sort of time frames so let's take it down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame is where you can start to see the higher highs, higher lows, which makes up this wave 1. I do believe this right here is an ABC of 2, and I do think we are in a wave 3. Price is not really respecting this Fibonacci level. I do think it is going to keep on going up and eventually make that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 1. But, like I always say, that doesn't mean there will not be some pullbacks on the shorter time frames, which is good for us, because those give us opportunities to go long for the continuation of the trend. So I believe this right here is the end of a wave 1. I think this is an ABC of 2, and I believe we're in a wave 3. Price is kind of trying to go past this Fibonacci level. We do have NFP news today. I still think that the most likely thing at the news today is that this is just going to keep on trending up, especially if we really are in a wave three. So let's take it down to the four hour time frame. For our time frame, really the last structure level is right here, so price would have to go way down there for me to believe that anything was over. Even if NFP does initially cause this to go down, I do believe that it will just be a crutch into this move up, and I still believe that it will just make a higher low and just keep on trending up. So taking it down even more to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, it really doesn't look like the end of anything right now. Really, it looks like it's just in a pullback, getting itself ready for news in a few hours. So if this looks anything like this when the news comes out, I would say that the likelihood is very, very high that the news is going to cause this to go up. And it's going to end up continuing that big wave 3 trend that I was sowing on the much, much longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.